Having a look at the title of the tape for this bout, Bryce Dibbon from the World Fitness Cartel. He's a really good up-and-coming fighter, taking on Braden Sam as well. I've seen both of these guys before, both around the 63 kilo mark. Records not far different and uh, a great even matchup. And this, both of these guys, as I said, I've seen them before. Great talents. We're in for a treat. And Mark the Hammer Castanini calling the shots with Matty Williams. Absolute pleasure, mate, to uh, finally get the chance to work with you. And uh, these two guys are going to put on a show for us for sure. Braden Sam trained out of the Australian Combat Sports Academy by Phil Lai, producing some uh, really strong up and comers. In turn, Dwayne Harris, World Fitness Cartel. Country Gully, they're based. And uh, great gym, great community gym with uh, some real good up and coming yeah. talent as well. Yeah, Philip Lai's been really busy tonight. I think there's about his uh, third fighter on the card. Got a good stable of uh, young yeah, fighters coming out, young and hungry, all got beautiful style. Shown some really nice clinching too, good clinching techniques. All his fighters really patient, nice tight cadence as Braden steps forward. Bryce Divin uh, had a good uh, foray into the Vama, the amateur fights. He is a very well supported fighter uh, in Vama. Of course, a padded fights. Now he's making the transition to professional bouts, no padding. And uh, Braden Sam as well. Really good up and comer. They both have sort of come through the right way with the amateur fighting. And of course, now there's uh, the Victorian uh, Muay Thai Amateur Association as well coming up. So lots of pathways for guys to get into the pro ranks, which is great to see. Big knees from uh, Divin on the inside. Knee for knee they go. At this point, not a lot separating the two. Uh, the action's been pretty close. Uh, the, the clinching has been. Evenly contested. As Braden steps back, lands a big kick. Tries to land a little upward elbow there on the on the entry into the clinch. Both fighters pretty new to elbows, this full tie rules action. But finding his timing, finding his range. And a big thank you, of course, our major sponsor, Quest Environments, uh, getting right behind Roots and the Rebellion shows. And uh, thank you to everyone who's tuning in at home. As we look back at the action from round one, it was a really evenly contested round. Both young fighters showing some nice clean techniques, nice and calm. Not a lot to separate them in the clinch. They chose to really uh, tangle up and grapple a lot in the first round, which is surprising for me because they've both got good skills on the outside. They kick, they punch really clean. But uh, they're both sort of negating that clean style just by... Back here for round number two, this fight number seven of Roots 14 Concrete Jungle. This one at 63 kgs. Bryce Dibbon in the black shorts. Braden Sam, he's in the white. Knees from Dibbon. Elbow, short elbow on the inside. And they're back to uh, the same strategy they employed in that first round, wanting to get into the clinch and uh, wrestle it up a bit. The danger with fighting this strategy is, uh, of course, it's, it can be very subjective to where the judges are sitting. When, when you're that tied into your opponent, you might be doing something good, but if the judge is offside, they're not going to see it. So uh, big shots like that from the outside, are pretty much, uh, you can't dispute that, that's uh, being thrown and, uh, act, you know, put in uh, at the right, the right level with the right amount of intensity. The clinching can sometimes be very subjective when the judges score it. Unless, of course, someone's totally dominating. Yeah, and it's Braden looking to punch, punch his way in now. He's showing, he's showing some ability, throw some little elbows into the clinch. If, if that's where they're going to do battle, that might be a good strategy to have a bit of delineation between the two. I think they're, they're both coming down. They're both very even in the clinch. So there's an opportunity there for one fighter to stand out by dominating on the outside. But they're sort of working their way constantly into the clinch and uh, hooking up. What is that range now? Landing a couple of kicks before they end up back over by the blue corner. It's Bryce with his back against the ropes. Referee separates. Good hard yeah, left kick there from Braden. Sam has probably thrown the, the, uh, the more solid kicks from the outside. But uh, again, Dibbon tries to get in, clinch up. Perhaps thinking about the elbows, so that can sometimes become a priority where they're thinking, I'll get in the clinch and elbow him. But the opportunity doesn't always present. And at this point, it's Sam 
that's uh, got the score on the outside and probably had a better second round. What do you think, man? Right to close the round there too. It was the chopping elbows as he managed to drag the hands of Bryce down in the clinch. I think that will be the sticking points. The little benchmarks that separate him in this round. The first one again, very close. It's up to Bryce now on our scorecards to come and bring home this third round. He needs a big, he needs a big uh, third round. First round pretty close. Second round, we see maybe the way of Braden Sam. And the third round, well, it's there for the taking. It's one of those big hard kicks. And you see the wealth immediately appear. Round number three here, fight number seven. Third and final round. It's been a close one and perhaps just Braden Tarm ahead slightly. But we know that Bryce Dibbon is a, is a good athlete. But he's getting a short elbow on the, on the inside there from Tarm. Again, they tangled into the clinch. Almost the takedown, which would have evened it up a little bit from Bryce Dibbon. Back to the, back to the center they've, they're taken. Um, just happy to work on the outside perhaps a little more. Then they tangle again into the clinch. It's a basically kick one, two clinch. It's been the tail of this one thus far. Yeah, they're both falling into that same, like the, cape, the fight has a cadence now, doesn't it? And they're both, uh, they're both sticking to it. I feel if someone kind of breaks that rhythm that they'll have an opportunity to kind of snatch it, make a bit of a statement. Kick for kick on the outside they go. And Sam opening up with some with some uh, tidy handwork on the outside. Divin locks him up. Inside thigh kick negated by both. So they stay go to launch the elbows. They're thinking very similar, aren't they? They're almost throwing identical techniques on the outside. It's a Final 30 quite seconds. interesting. Once again, they tangle up. Both fighters really fatigued now, Matty. Yeah, not, both pretty fatigued. Uh, only two minute rounds, not long left. Opportunity to finish stronger than the other guy, make a bit of a statement. This is uh, a closely contested fight. Oh, big shots on the outside. Third and final round. Who is going to get it over the line at this point? Sam just slightly ahead. There it is. Third and final round over and done with. Second one, I think it was it was Sam from Australian Combat Sports Academy who was able to punch into the clinch. There was there were some defining moments with some big root kits in the second round. In the third, feel like it was uh, Sam once again with slightly cleaner technique, slightly more effective punching. That would have been a big moment as we see there on the replay if he had to got the dump. However, Sam managed to keep his balance. Good vertical base. Pretty even match fight yet again on the Roots Concrete Jungle here. And uh, gee, some solid up and comers. These two, unfortunately, I think they're almost so similar that they negated each other and somewhat stifled what, what uh, is the good work from the outside by getting into the clinch in overtime. But nevertheless, a thoroughly entertaining battle. It's going to be a close one. It's going to go to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, after three two-minute rounds in the 63-kilogram division, we go to the judges' scorecard. Your judges at ringside see this fight as a unanimous points decision, declaring your winner in the blue corner, Brandon Sam. Well, there it is, just by the slimmest of margins, I'd say.